Okay, this is just a, a quick uh, tutorial for using the Photos app to make a slideshow, as you will have to do for your photo essay assignment. Uh, same thing I demonstrated in class for those who were there. Uh, this is an Apple uh, app that comes with your MacBook. If you're on a Windows program, you will have to find another program, such as Movie Maker, just to make a simple slideshow. Um, if you have any questions, let me know if you weren't in class. Uh, but look at the assignment first. So find the Photos app, open it up. First thing you're going to do is import the photos that you are going to choose for your photo essay. So best case scenario in this, in this instance, you would already have chosen your, your 20 or more photos. You've got them enhanced and edited and they're ready to go. And uh, you don't need to do any fixing to them. You should have already done that. So maybe create a separate folder with all your edited images so that you know which ones are the good ones that you're going to put in. And then just go to File and Import here as I'm doing and search for them on your computer. Um, I'm just going to grab some uh, some bird photos for lack of anything else uh, to choose. So uh, you can choose a whole folder to import or you can individually grab the images that you need. Um, hopefully you know how to do that by now. If you hold down the command key, that allows you to just kind of grab individual photos and uh, put them in. So I'm just going to, oh, that's a raw file. That's a raw file. So only JPEGs. You cannot put raw files into into the uh, slideshows um, and you should be editing them anyway and turning them into JPEG so you'll have to turn all your photos into a JPEG first okay so let's click here review for import there's my photos I don't have 20 because uh, I'm just trying to save time here uh, so I'm gonna look at them all I'm okay, if I'm okay with them all I can just click import all new photos here if there's some that I don't like if they're say oh I don't like this one so much uh, I can I can make sure that one's unchecked and I can check all the other ones uh, that I want. So you can individually choose the ones to import even from here or if you've already got them all pre-edited and selected as you should you can just go to import all new photos and when you do that they should appear uh, at the bottom of your imports folder so imports over here on the left hand side there's my new photos uh, now that's and now I'm ready to make my slideshow uh, so again I'm going to select the photos that I want uh, the way you do that is you can again uh, you can hold down the command key and select them individually or the faster way to do it uh, is hold down click the first one you want hold down the shift key go to the last photo in the series click that and it will highlight all of them so then go back up to the top file create slide over and come down slideshow photos so file create slideshow photos and click that it allows you to give a Give it a title, I'll call it Bird Brains, uh, and click OK. And that's it, I've already created my title. Uh, this title is editable, uh, you can change it around. Depending on the theme you choose, it'll the font will change and it'll look different in different places. Um, there used to be a way to move it around, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how that happens and I, I'll have to look that up. Uh, but there may be a way to move the, the text around. But all I'm asking is for at least a title at the start of this, um, you don't have to um, put captions on every photo. If you want to do that, that's great, but uh, you can't, I don't think, actually do that within the Photos app. So I've already got my slideshow. It's basically ready to go. If I wanted to change some of these around and switch up these uh, yellow goldfinches, of which I have many, and move them around, I can I can do that to, to break them up or change the order. Um, my title is still there, so it'll be on the first one. And if I hit play, this will actually play and it'll show me the uh, to show me the slow shot that you've, you've created already. Um, if you go to the right side, this is where you have your options, so you can change the theme. I would again suggest the classic or the Ken Burns effect, uh, unless you have a whole pile of photos. Again, 20 is the minimum. Um, if you put in more than that, maybe you could choose one of these other themes. Uh, they do interesting stuff in terms of uh, making reflections or, or giving you um, uh, animated effects. Uh, but unless you have a lot of photos, some of those other themes you're going to put like three or four photos on a single page of the slideshow, and then you're going to go through your 20 photos pretty quickly. So I'd suggest Ken Burns or Classic, unless you have a lot of photos. Uh, below the theme, you have the music selection. So uh, you can go into your own music library and, uh, and choose any song that you have in there. I'm not going to worry about copyright protection for this one. You can choose from the theme songs that they have. So each of these theme songs uh, goes with a different... Uh, slideshow theme but you can choose which song you want from another theme if you want or you can go into your iTunes and, and pull out whatever music you want uh, 
like to have. And then below the music, once you've chosen your music, um, there's your timing there. So you can adjust how much you might want these to go fast or slow. Um, if you have a song that's a specific length, you can click fit to music and it will play the slideshow. It'll create it to fit that song. But depending on how many photos you have, you really don't want the slides to show up for more than, you know, uh, say three to five seconds per slide. Um, so try and keep it, uh, the default speed is actually pretty good. So you probably don't have to change that unless you really think it needs to. Um, and down here, you probably want to unclick this. This is the, the loop slideshow. So if you're playing it, it'll just keep going over and over again. Uh, so you probably want to unclick that. And if you want to preview it, you can hit the play button and see how it looks. So if you do that and you're happy with it, then all you have to do is export it, which you do by going back up to file, export, export slideshow. Click on that again. You have the choice to, to rename it again if you want or add something to it. Uh, choose the folder where it's going to go. I'll just throw it onto my desktop. Actually, I'll throw it into movies because that makes more sense because it's a, a video file. And here you have your, your um, resolution. So make it at least 720p, uh, 1080p if you want. Just don't make it standard depth because that's going to look a bit lousy. Um, so make it at least 720 or, or 1080p. It's just going to be a bigger file if it's 1080p, but it'll still look pretty good. Um, and if you uncheck, if you keep this checked, it's going to automatically send it to iTunes and open up an iTunes. You don't really need to do that uh, unless you want to watch it in there. Otherwise, you can uncheck that, click Save, and it will create your slideshow. This will take a few minutes depending on how many uh, slides you have. And then it's going to create a, um, a video file that you can then upload. So upload your best image, nicely edited, 8x10, 300 dpi, and then upload your M4V movie. If you're doing it on another program, if you're doing Windows Movie Maker, whatever, just make sure it's an M4V or an, or an MPEG-4 or a .mlv, as long as it's a common video file I can play. So let's just play this to see. Here's my slideshow of my lovely birds. That's it. So that worked. Um, so that's all you have to do. Use the use an app, import your photos, put them in the right order, give it a title, set it to music, choose a theme, export that, and give me your best photo. And then you're done for that assignment. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.